Hey, it's Tim, and uh, I'm going to actually narrate this video a little bit because I was trying to do a lot in a short amount of time. I made a whole bunch of lamps just to sort of show how the sky is sort of the limit for making lamps. But uh, So I skipped a lot of steps in the video editing to speed this along a little bit. Now the first thing I want to point out is that you can go to box stores and buy lamp kits, but they're very expensive, over $12 for that one. Or you can go to the second hand store and just buy an ugly lamp nobody wants anymore and get all the parts you need out of that. But just inspect the lamp before you buy it to make sure it has what you need for the lamp you're thinking about building. After a while, if you're like me, you start having a collection of spare lamp parts, so I just sort of go to the boxes and find stuff. But, uh, you know, just inspect it before you buy it. And here you can see this is a lamp kit equivalent to that 1247 one at the store that I got for $2.99. Now I could cut this wire and splice it, or I could open this all up and disconnect the solder joint. Or I could do that. I know it's a little uncharacteristic for me, but I mean really, what am I going to do with that if I tried to save it? Got ideas of what I can do with these remnants? Post it in the comments below. I've seen lots of lamps made out of mugs and bottles and whatnot where they put the bulb sort of in the mouth. And I was going to do that with this and put the, the cup on it as like a lampshade. But then I thought it'd be kind of fun to flip that upside down. And so um, instead of having it upright with a lampshade above it, I decided to put the lampshade below it. Now, I, you know, I threaded the, the pipe and the rod in and stuff, and then I used a little bit of epoxy to help set it. I had a ceramic lamp thing I was able to stick inside there and that's just epoxy holding it in. I painted it brown, I spliced it together with a switch on the base and it's done. I love globes and I had this kind of cruddy globe laying around so I just made this sort of for example. I, it's not the best globe in the world but uh you know there's just a lot that can be done with them. This one I, I made two lamps out of. One goes into the stand as like sort of like a desk lamp and the other one hangs from the ceiling like a uh Sort of like a pendant lamp or a drum lamp or something. I spray painted the inside there a minute ago uh, silver to help be reflective. I probably would have run these wires different next time. It's just an on off switch. I wired it all up. I had to drill a couple holes. Just a little bit of problem solving. And like I said, this wasn't the best globe to make a lamp out of, but it looks pretty cool. Now these globes are obviously made of cardboard, so just be cautious if you make lamps out of them and use bulbs that aren't going to heat up too much like CFLs or LEDs. Now I've made uh, lamps out of drums before and uh, specifically putting the, the drum shell and drilling holes in it and having the light kind of go through the top of the drum as well as from underneath the drum and through the um, and I've used drumsticks before in different lamps, but uh, I didn't have another drum to spare this time. I did have a whole bunch of drumsticks though, so I thought it would just be pretty cool to make a very simple drumstick lamp. Just epoxy and drumsticks sort of artfully put on a base. And it would be really cool to put a drum shade, like a drum shade on top of this lamp. It would be this the best lamp ever. Now, uh, these are directionals off of a Volkswagen Beetle, like a 70s one, so it was... Uh, they're just cool looking to begin with, and uh, I've done wall sconces like this before with other taillights of off cars that aren't quite as cool looking, uh, and they still look cool. So, I don't know what I'm doing there, I'm just looking for wood to put them on. I think I found that nice piece of cherry. Uh, in order to make these, I had to put a smaller bulb in, like a, uh, a candelabra type bulb, and I had to do a little bit of kind of cutting open some some lights and soldering them back together to make it fit, but uh, it wasn't that big of a deal. And then I used a, uh, a keyhole uh, that's coming up in a second. Here I just drilled a little hole and then I have a keyhole uh, router bit. So I was able to just sort of slot the wood so it would hang on the wall good. And here I am soldering in a light switch. It just fits right in there if you have a friction fit. Now I wired these with a switch but they could also be hardwired right to the wall. This is a, I made this lamp in a five foot tall version about eight years ago and so I'm just recreating it here. Uh, all those little bits and pieces of scrap especially like the nice pieces of wood, I have a hard time throwing them away. Um, so what I wanted to do was sort of stack them up like Jenga. And I did a really bad job filming this, I apologize. But I drilled a hole just a little bit wider than the, uh, 
post that holds the wiring so the the blocks just slide right over it as they are there and you can actually spin them around they're not glued together so it's like a different lamp every day and then if you didn't see my satellite chair build I'd recommend you check it out but I built a chair out of satellite dishes and I have a whole bunch of parts left over so I want to keep using them as much as I can <laughs> that is so awesome look at that they used some really strong uh, weatherproofing on these things that was very gummy and hard to get off. So that was most of the work. Really, it was just cleaning it up and getting all the innards out that were sealed up. And I just made those holes wide enough to handle a light socket. Uh, again, a small, like, um, mini light socket. And make the wires go through. Welded together a simple shape out of the parts. Epoxied the, uh, the fittings in. And that was it. Oh, those are these nice little crimps you can use to uh, crimp wires together, and there's a special pliers that I'm using there, but you could use, use normal pliers to do it as well. It's just harder. And it was a little tricky. I did spray paint it, the parts that I welded and stuff. I just spray painted them gray again. Uh, it was a little tricky lining it all up, and uh, but it looks pretty cool. Just switch in there. Lamps are like upcycling 101. Just about anything can be turned into a lamp with very limited tools and for very limited expenses. Usually $3 at the second hand store is all you need to spend. These are just a few ideas of some of the many, many, many things that can get turned into lamps. And I would love to see your ideas, so please uh, share them with me on various social media platforms or whatever. Uh, thanks very much for watching. If you like this video, you can like, share, and subscribe and all that stuff. You can also support me over on Patreon.com. And if you like any of these lamps, uh, they're going to be for sale in my Etsy shop. Thanks and have a great day.